And again, I have just checked the timetable for East Rington uh, because it is a dodgy station. Gina's trains there and welcome to exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by train day 26. Now don't worry we've not suddenly jumped into winter, it is still summer would you believe? What summer? I know, tell me about it. But I've just had an overnight stay at Hull and it is really early in the morning. I'm off to Howden, Wrestle and East Rington. Yeah only three stations but two of them are dodgy ones hence why I've gotten up so early. I am just outside of Hull station now so I'm going to make my way in there and get on the first train. I'm in my favourite seat. I always come to this one by the toilet. I've just had a look, it's seat 72. I am on 185142. And you know what? I'm not even feeling tired at all. Like usually I do, but we're getting up at half past three this morning. Like I am so awake right now. I mean the effects of that might kick in a little bit later on because I have yet to have a morning coffee. Not sure where I'm gonna get one of those. And it's great as well to be able to actually get to the first stop within half an hour. 459 Transfer Express service up to Liverpool Mount Street, calling at Brook. I'm at Howden and I am very happy to see that at 25 past 5 in the morning it's already become so light. Um, I was taken by surprise pulling it, well I mean I saw it yesterday actually but it kind of slipped my mind but Howden does have staggered platforms and when you're at Howden you put your knickers on your edge, you put your knickers on your edge, you put your knickers on your edge. When you're at Howden you put your knickers on your edge and you shout squishy babies! Got a little sunrise over there as well. I'm not too sure why my big toe is feeling wet at the moment. Like, it's not even raining or anything. I don't know. Anyways, um, I am intrigued by this station building in like sort of the middle of the platforms here with the old signage. Not too sure what that's used for at the minute. Howden, of course, we've got two platforms. It is run by Northern Trains. You've also got TPE and Hull trains that serve the station. We've got plenty of cycle storage space. There's one way facing information displays. There is a level crossing between the platforms here and some modern shelters. Just seen this poster here at the end of the platform as well saying that Hull trains have actually improved Howden station and looking at these photos as well I definitely can tell the difference the platforms now they do look very fresh Okay, turns out the floor may have been wetter than I thought it was because I was leaving footprints. I think it's like, is it called dew or something like that? Um, anyways, just seen as well that the station building is labelled with Station House and it is a private residence. I am just having a little walk up the road. Um, I think we're about to walk along a grassy pavement. That's going to make my big toe even wetter. <laughs> My shoes are now covered in wet grass, but anyways, I've just come to have a look at Howden Windmill, which is situated next to this lake, and it's made even more picturesque by the beautiful sunrise. I'm on 174.74. I honestly did not expect uh, to be on a 170 right now. I don't know what I expected this unit to be, but just... Um, Oh, no, yeah. but just a smaller unit to be honest with Russell um, seeing a low frequency of service but yeah, lovely surprise being on the 170 I'm at Wrestle. Wrestle is an Orbano station and it's got two platforms. And if only Hull Trains called here as well because they could sort the floor of platform two out. It's full of stones and plants growing all along it. But uh, platform one, which is the next platform I'm going to be going off, um, does have like the standard platform floor. 
Whilst I mentioned frequency of service on the train, I thought I'd just check how many trains I actually call at Wrestle a day, and it is seven. I thought there'd be the same amount of upwards trains as there would be downwards trains, but there are four trains to York and three trains to Hull and that way. Uh, my next train, I have checked, it is on time, thankfully, because honestly, I had no backup plan if one of my trains were cancelled today. So um, yeah, happy days that it is going to plan so far. wrestle there's some basic shelters there's a local area map there's a level crossing and um, there isn't however any information displays i would have been very surprised to be honest with you if there were but uh, there's also no ticket buying facilities it does say on a sign down there that you are able to purchase a ticket from the conductor on the train <laughs> I am glad there's a pavement here. I am having a walk. I saw on the map that there's a castle here, Wrestle Castle. Don't worry, I'm not gonna wrestle the castle. Uh, I am just gonna have a look at it. Okay, so you do get a good view of the castle from here and there is some information here about it. However, I can't seem to find a way actually to get any closer to the castle, which is a shame because I've actually got like practically a two hour wait at Wrestle, so I will have to find something else to do. I might end up just sitting in the station. <laughs> The gates of the level crossing are going down now. I'm thinking it's because my train's about to pull in. Uh, this train is gonna take me back down the line, calling that Howden, and then I'm getting off, obviously, at East Rington. I'm getting on, 155, 347. Well, I'm really pleased that I got to ride on a class 155 again. I am going to be riding uh, that train back later. I do have the longest wait of the day here at East Rington. I have got about three hours here. But yeah, I am pretty confident that um, I am going to be making it home today. East Rington again is a very basic station. We've got one of those oddly shaped shelters where my voice is slightly echoing from it right now. Um, over on the other platform, there is a basic shelter and a blue bench. Um, there's Northern trains calling here and there's two platforms. You can see some wind turbines from the station and again I have just checked the timetable for East Rington uh, because it is a dodgy station and there are six trains that call here per day you've got two to Hull and four to York you would have thought it would be an even split between upwards and downwards services but yeah it's not I am off for a walk now. I know, right? Me off for a walk, jeez. Uh, but I am off to East Rington Ponds Nature Reserve, I think it's called. It's about 20 minutes away, and again, I am happy to see that there's pavements in East Rington. Well, I say pavements, there's a pavement on this side of the road anyway. I hope it lasts. It is a lovely walk, this is a really nice area and I think I'm going to have to take my coat off at some point too because it is warming up a lot now. But um, in walking through East Rington here, I am wondering, the people who live here, where do they do their shopping? Because there's a hairdresser, there's a pub, there's a cafe, but I don't see any shops anywhere. I mean, at least they've got those things, but yeah, they must have to travel out somewhere to do their shopping. Well, I've found the lake and I think I'm going to be spending the rest of my time at East Rington here. It is absolutely beautiful. I was hoping there'd be some seating areas around here. Immediately in stepping into the nature reserve, I was greeted by a bench, so I'm very happy to see that. I think I'm going to go have a walk around the lake. Might be some more benches around there. <music> Thank you.
well what a wonderful way to end a quick and short day and a very beautiful one as well the main aim for me today was to get them dodgy stations done so i am happy that everything went to plan and from my early start this morning and my lack of coffee like I am still not tired at all. I am very awake right now. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Buzzy bye. Well, what a wonderful end. Well, what a wonderful end to the. Freaking hell, I can't even speak now. <laughs>